What's going on guys, Phil here from Phil's Craft Corner. I've not done a video like this for a little while where I do a little bit of talking uh, in the intro, but uh, this one's a little bit special because I was approached uh, a few weeks ago by Swastik Designs on Etsy and they asked me to make this file. Uh, this is a photo frame, as you can see there's a little slot down the side to put your pictures in. This holds a 7x5 photo, which is pretty much a standard size. Uh, they sent me this file for free, asked me to do a review on it and that's what this video is. Um, the design is really good, I like the design, there's a few little issues in there, some little design tweaks that need to be talked about, uh, I'll address those in the video where I show me cutting this out and assembling this, uh, it'd be easier to show you the issues that I had with that there, and uh, all in all I'm quite happy with this, uh, I'm sticking a link down below of where to download this and where to buy it, let's get into it, let's build it, and hope you enjoy the video. Thinking that I could have done something, but now I'm left with an empty heart. No making amends, no waking up beside you and holding you till we forget it all. How could I know there was no second chances? Like dominoes, my life got really scattered. You couldn't keep the door shut. You left me here, so come home. Why won't you reappear? Things that I said came out totally wrong. Can't speak of the truth when it's tainted. I fell into a big black hole. It got me stone cold.
So guys, what do you think? Do you like this picture frame? Uh, I think it turned out really well. Like I said, there was a couple of issues in there. The double cutting on every single layer. I had to go into every single layer. Remove the stacked up vectors. I don't know why they were in there, especially on these sections here. For some reason there was a, a rectangle actually drew on there and then some lines halfway up either side and that was stacked up about three times. On the second layer, where the corners started in some of these leaves, there was a little dot in there, I had to zoom right in and delete the um, the nodes that were around there. Uh, this backing layer is missing the rectangle from the middle to cover that, but I quite like the fact that you can see through here, um, I do like that. So. Um, thank you again Swastik Design Crafts for sending this to me, for having me make this video, uh, it's very generous of you to do that, like I say there's a link down below to the Etsy page and uh, I hope you watch this video and you make the design changes that I've had to do to make this work and anybody who does want this pop down there and buy it because even them design changes it's not that much to edit yourself in Inkscape and you get a really nice pitch frame at the end of it. Uh, so thanks for watching guys, if you found this video interesting then please hit that thumbs up, consider subscribing because I'm putting out content quite regularly now, my channel is growing quite well, even though only 6%, around 6% of the people who watch my videos are subscribed to my channel, so that's like 94% of you guys are not subscribed, so uh, kind of missing out. I've got to put out quite a few videos at the moment. I've got a video coming up for repairing my K40 laser. The power supply went on that so if you keep an eye out for that that's a, a good interesting video coming up. We've got quite a lot of information and how to swap up your power supply so subscribe so you don't miss out that one. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.